Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do the Tower 14th or Tower 7 of Season 2 guide. So further ado, let's get into the video. So, we are going to get into the tower which is this tower compared to the last one. There are floors which are easier than the last tower, just in, in my opinion. So in the first floor you go for deflect or ambush, whatever you like. Deflect is kind of better but ambush is also good uh, first flow pretty much a lot of mobs get spawned in so which makes you just like uh, play a little more defensive let's just say and in floor 2 you take the power shaper helps out a ton like it is good and then in floor 3 if you want to go for ambush you can just go for ambush like just go for enchantments in first floors like you, if you don't just save enchantment, it's not gonna help you out even a bit. So you just use enchantment points, don't just save them for absolute no reason until you don't find a good enchantment to use. You know, you get the point. So in floor 3, you take the low medallion, which is a really good artifact to use. And in floor 4, you go for committed on your bow, which is also a good decision to use as it's gonna just increase your bow damage which will make your ranged damage way more powerful than it was before so yeah in floor 3 zombies gonna spawn you just can't take out of them easy in floor 4 you take the plate armor uh, it doesn't have the best enchantments but you can just go for snowball like snowball and deflect until last me cause it is a good thing to use you know you get the point so yeah, this floor is also not that hard as those uh, tower guardians or tower guards or dozen spawns as every single time and even no necromancer or whatever you call them. So yeah, you just beware of the traps, let's just say traps, you know. Floor 5, really easy, you don't take anything, you just upgrade your own and this floor was a skipping floor a lot more way before but it's now patched so it doesn't work at all let's just say but before it was and it was really fun i i miss those days and in floor six you take the voided touch blades just by the fact our sword is way more it's dealing literally no damage so for because of that reason we're gonna use void touch blades which is great going for leeching and freezing as it's a good enchantment to use it's just gonna make your enemy uh slow a bit which is good actually so yeah here you just take care of the let's just say enchanters and the creepers as both of these mobs are just gonna try ruin you one let's just say and then floor seven you take the axe as weight touch blade was just a temporary uh melee weapon so you go for double ram like rampaging and guarding strike which is also a great one to use and here this 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 tower is just worse this fool is just the worst like save your let's just say your cooldown of roll and then slowly just bash through it yes and then floor eight you just use the golden pit which is okay this floor it is kind of a hard floor to just play this floor i i almost died let's just say but you cannot die until you just play really defensively like you don't lose that much of health so yeah just that big lift leafer whatever you call it uh don't let it connect to you just use the golden to tank for it and stuff you know so go for wolf armor reason behind this our armor is way more less leveled and we need any armor which has good health at this point so i just gone for thorns and speed synergy even if it's not the best case scenario to use right now and gone for committed tier 2 and guardian strike 2 or rampaging 2 whatever you like rampaging 2 is a bit, bit more better until ask me but yeah you just upgrade your wolf armor as it's gonna get you more health which is good enough here the necromancer is i mean the nameless one whatever you call it yeah it's he's just a necromancer but powerful you know see that's gonna spawn if you have if you are having any problems 
go and check out the full gameplay video I about this tower I made it's just gonna get out just after this video goes on and that's it go and check out that video after you watch this video so you can actually know completely and perfectly how you can just take the bosses down easily or just any particular floor how I completed it and you can try do it in my way and you might be able to just complete it, the floor so in floor 11 it's it's there are going to be a lot of wolves spawning into the level which is not a great thing until ask me but here you take B nest arm if you're watching my videos you know the potion barrier it's the best enchantment in almost until ask me so you go for double potion barrier and tumblebee you don't go for life boost or shadow surge just because of I didn't die even once and if I die I'm gonna go for life boost but for now I was trying to save that enchantment I said save don't save enchantments but at point of like this you just save enchantment if you died once uh, and at, at any floor just use the life boost enchantment on this arm it's gonna help you out a bit so yeah you just go through the level not don't pick anything at this floor and i gone for triple potion berry in floor 14 here a lot of things are gonna spawn so yeah you have to just like i almost died but i was lucky enough i don't know why yeah so that's just my luck but this luck doesn't comes out every single time so yeah just try get rid of the enchanters first then slowly get rid of the other mobs just like make the mobs your allies by low medallion then let the tank let the golem tank the attacks for you and then you just activate your potion barrier and just get rid of every single thing you can at that point so yeah at floor 14 you take the shadow crossbow as our bow is way more or less leveled as it should not be until ask me like it is not dealing that much damage where our pickaxe will pit i did, forgot to mention that we picked pickaxe sorry you can just rewind the video and check it out uh, so levitation on the shadow crossbow and weakening which is great enough too which is good like when you kill an any mob it, there is a chance you're gonna form into a shadow so yeah it's it's a good bow but deals less damage let's just say which is okay until ask me but yeah depends on how we play it so yeah you just go for floor 16 where you just take the mace instead of low medallion instead of getting a better low medallion that's what i meant so mace with the enchantments rampaging and shockway rampaging tier 2 you can go for it or shockway tier 2 it's your uh, decision and weakening I gone for double tier weakening uh, on shadow crossbow and here a lot of mobs get spawned in so just take a note that uh, you, you just rampage your way through it so soul dance the rope it's a really good actually like a good uh, armor to use right now so you, I got final shout triple potion baron soul speed it's a great enchantment believe me soul speed it's gonna make you let's just say uh, speed a bit more so if you ever have to like escape from a situation it'll, it'll be easier and here uh, tower guardian spawns which you have to make ally of yours it's gonna help you out a ton believe me trust me and you'll be able to clear this full easily and in full 18 use the new golem kit like just you know uh, swap it with your old golem kit don't just take two golems so you're gonna be in a problem here two necromancer spawns you can get rid of them easy and here twin bow like twin bow is a really good bow to choose in order to defeat the boss fight we're gonna fight now so I will say much about it, just wait a second, uh, critical hit, overcharge, uh, tier 2, and you, overcharge is the main thing, so yeah, here I upgraded my uh, mace to fail, which is also good, it increases your, your attacking speed, which is also great enough, and here, the redstone monstrosity, 
It's easier than necromancer or nameless one, whatever you call it. Please don't mind that. So yeah, you just bow him out. That's what you do. He has a literally slow speed. You use the uh, golem for tanking it and etc. You will you just check that video out, you'll get it. So soul rope instead of the soul dancer rope, because soul rope has better enchantments. You don't go for the armor again, you go for the enchantments. Make sure you remember that. Here you can go for triple potion barrier, then a uh, one chilling, uh, or like double chilling and triple potion barrier. But I gone for double potion barrier, then chilling and protection. Protection is not that great anymore, but still, if you want to use it, you can use it. It's worth it. So here, do not take anything. Just go through the level and chance some stuff you like. And yeah, I had a lot of bows, so it was not a big problem for me to fight in range but sometimes if you have less bow arrows left like it gets a problem but believe me it's okay and and then floor 23 i took the grave bane which seems worth two it's a really good weapon okay so i didn't i don't know if double sharpness works in a weapon if you know in the car if you know please comment i would love to know that if double sharpness works or not on a particular uh, like let's just say uh, weapon so here I gone for double sharpness and like and let's just say uh, pussy bee enchantment which was you know it just spawns honey bees which is worth too it is an amazing um, enchantment it makes you get more allies for you to tank enemies like you know it's a good one so here on floor 24 you go for ocelot armor as it has an amazing like it's good enough okay you can use this armor go for triple potion barrier once double snowball and double food reserves which is also great and double sharpness if like quadruple sharpness in my idea you can just go for leeching for that weapon too floor 24 is hard floor so make sure you check that out because there are a lot of ravages gonna spawn and it's gonna make your day bad actually not gonna lie so basically i'm gonna explain here too if you don't want to just check that video out all you do is basically just go to the upper floor before the ravages spawns and then slowly get rid of them yeah so in floor 26 it a lot of withers are gonna spawn but just take care of so yeah you replace another let's just say the low medallion instead of uh, you, the power shaker you had as a temporary artifact power shaker doesn't help in this blue that much but double let's just say the medallion it's gonna make you get more allies and fight less enemies which is just quite enough in order to you know so here you just go for power shaker and replace your old low medallion with the new power shaker which is great and here uh it's not hard until ask me uh, not a lot of mobs are gonna spawn like they are gonna spawn but on the top right let's just say or like just the top a lot of mobs spawn so just make sure you take care of that or you're gonna get one shotted by all of those mobs just gonna kill you out you know you get the meaning of that thing if you don't i don't know uh and then guild you ocelot armor it's worth it it's upgraded it upgraded to you your own too so because of that reason i did that and gone to complete max to like overcharge final boss wrecked vault just easy boss you just have to dodge his attacks that's all it is and when he's not attacking you deal damage not when he's invincible but yeah and there we go you are gonna get your entire tower cleared with easy so yes make sure you hit that subscribe button as it helps me out a ton and it actually makes my day and go and check out my other videos like this full tower game, game gameplay which is gonna help me out a ton when you watch it out and i'll meet you in the next video let me know in the comments if it if you found this tower guide helpful and i'll meet you in the next video bye bye